Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and welcome to your Sunday class. I am so excited because today we're going to take it slow and strong and I got a lot of good feedback saying that you guys really enjoy the slow and strong classes so that's what we'll be doing today. When you're ready we'll go ahead and meet in child's pose. So making your way into child's pose, big toes touch, knees wide to the mat, sink the hips back towards your heels and walk your palms forward, stretching your fingers out, spreading them wide, and you can engage your arms here so that your forearms are off of the ground, deep breath in, and then open mouth exhale. Another inhale through the nose and exhale. Slowly rock up through tabletop and coming to a neutral spine, begin to shift your hips over towards the left and back through center over towards the right. back to center. Beautiful. Reach your right arm out long. Face your palm up. Reach it up, up, up. And exhale, float it back down. And then sending the left arm out long, facing your palm up and reach. Exhale, bring it down. And then of course, take a few circles here, just to stretch out your wrists. And when you're ready, inhale, curl your toes, and exhale, float the knees. Engage your core, deep breath in here, and exhale. Inhale, press the earth away from you. Exhale, hips up and back to your downward facing dog. And pedal this down dog out. And dropping the crown of your head so you can look right in between your heels. And when you're ready, inhale, roll your gaze up in between your hands and step your feet in the middle of your mat. Inhale, lift your chest slightly, floating your fingertips to the mat. Exhale, roll your chest down, maybe even bend into your knees a little bit here. And now inhale, slowly roll up to standing, sweeping the arms up overhead. And exhale, mountain pose Tadasana, stay right here. Now you can part your feet slightly. <laughs> All right, so keeping your feet parted, <laughs> you want them to be about two fists in between. Now your palms are going to be facing each other as well, reaching your fingertips up overhead. Inhale here. And exhale, send your bum back, leaning your chest forward, reaching your fingertips forward until you really start to feel it in your hamstrings. Now you don't wanna dome your spine, but keep your arms straight forward, lower belly up and in, back as flat as you can, hips as back far as you can deep breath in and exhale lift back up beautiful inhale reach the arms up high exhale 
hips back, flat back, reaching forward until you feel it in those hamstrings. Inhale, strong back up to center. One more time. As far as you can go before you start to dome the spine. Inhale back up to center and exhale, float your palms down. Bring your palms together to heart center. Relax your shoulders down your back. Close your eyes here. Find a moment to center yourself and send your gaze inward. Now when you're ready, inhale, sweep the arms back up overhead and exhale, forward fold. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible here, reaching, reaching, reaching your fingers forward till they meet the mat. Bend into your knees, plant your hands, step back and come to a high plank, shifting your weight forward. Now we're gonna take the slowest chaturanga that you've ever taken in your life. So use your core, use your arms, coming controlled as possible. Deep breath here and exhale, slowly lower down, keeping your elbows pinned in directly by your sides. Flip to the top of your feet. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine the chest forward and open mouth exhale. Downward facing dog, beautiful job. Deep breath in through the nose and open mouth, exhale. Now step your right foot in between your hands and lower down to your back left knee, untuck your left foot and inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, goal post your elbows Continue to send your hips forward, lifting your chest. Inhale back up to center. And exhale, face your palms out. Bring them behind you, interlace your fingers. And inhale, lift the chest. Exhale. Slowly melt your chest towards the inside of your right thigh, lifting your wrists overhead. Now slowly, with control, press through the right foot, lift your chest back up, release your hands. Plant your hands on the inside of your right foot. Re-engage your back left leg. And then bring your right hand on the outside of your right foot. And with control, slowly begin to lift your chest and your hands to a crescent lunge. Beautiful, now nice and strong, deep breath in, and exhale. Inhale, exhale to your warrior two, spin your left heel down, palms float down. Inhale, reverse your right hand, reverse your warrior, and exhale, cartwheel your hands down, take your vinyasa. Nice and slow this time as well. Shift forward, slowly, slowly with control. Use your strength. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Down dog, beautiful job. Step your left foot in between your hands and lower down to your right knee. Untuck the right foot. And I had to remember what we did for a second. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Exhale, goal post your elbows. Lift your chest. 
continue to shift your hips forward as much as you can. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, palms face out. Interlace your fingers behind you. And inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, send your chest on the inner part of your left thigh, reaching your wrists overhead. Dropping the crown of your head. Deep breath in. Exhale, begin to lift your chest back up with control. Release your hands, bring them into the inner part of your left foot for now. Inhale, curl the right toe. Exhale, lift your right knee off the mat. Left hand comes back to the outer part of your left foot. And when you're ready with control, you're going to press up to that crescent lunge. Beautiful job. Pressing that right heel forward, breathing here, strong lunge. Deep breath in. Exhale, spin the right heel down, warrior two. Everything with control and with grace and with breath. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down, plant your hands, send your left foot back, shift forward into the high plank, last super slow chaturanga push-up. Make it count. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth exhalation. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, step your feet right behind your hands. About hips width distance, bend into the knees. Left fingertips come to the mat or your left palm. And then inhale, open up your right hand. Exhale, if you'd like, you can bring it behind your back towards your inner left thigh. Again, to pull that right shoulder open. Slowly release. Right palm comes to the mat. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. And exhale palm comes behind you if you choose towards your inner right thigh opening up the left shoulder slowly release roll on up straightening through your legs with your head coming absolutely last, nice and slow. And when you come to standing, you can face just how you are. I'm just facing this way so you can see me, but you'll take your right hand behind your back towards your inner right elbow and gently drop your right ear towards your right shoulder breathing here. And then roll your chin to your chest. And head back up. Release that. And bring your right hand behind your back towards your left elbow crease and gently Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder and breathe here. Yeah. 
and then chin to your chest. And bring your head back up, slowly release. And now you can turn to facing the long side of your mat. Step your feet a little bit wider than hips. Gently bend into your knees, sit your bum nice and low, coming into a little bit of a horse pose, goddess pose. And then you're going to bring your right forearm to your right thigh and reach the left arm up and over. Nice and strong here. Working those inner thighs, working your quads. And when you're ready, slowly release. Bring your left forearm to your left thigh, reaching the right arm up and over. See if you can sit just a little lower in your squat. Beautiful, reaching and then bringing both forearms to your thighs. And then getting ready to bring your palms together, lift your chest, last little burn, deep breath in, and exhale, straighten through your legs, wide-legged forward fold. Release your chest, head comes all the way down, crown of the head should be directly facing the earth. And maybe nod your head yes, or shake it no. And then using your core, bring your arms out to a T first. Use your core, lift your chest up flat back. Begin to heel toe your feet back in and come to a seat when you're ready. Option to lay all the way down in Shavasana if you'd like, or just come to an easy seat, either resting your palms down or up on your knees. Finding your breath here. Then bring your palms together to your forehead to remind yourself of positive thoughts, optimistic thoughts, speaking it out loud, that you have a wonderful, blessed life. You're very blessed, you're very fortunate. You are well, you are able, you are worthy. Bring your palms to your lips to remind yourself to speak kindly and speak out loud to yourself and to others. And then bring your palms to your heart to remind yourself that you're loved, thought about, cared about, needed in, in this world. And find one more breath in and an open mouth exhale, release it all out. You can flutter your eyes open God bless friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate all the support, all the time, and thank you so much for all the votes for the I Am Yoga Warrior contest. I am so excited to have made it to the quarterfinals, so I'll leave the link on the screen and down below if you'd like to continue to vote for me. If you'd like to um, donate to me for Venmo or Cash App, I'll leave it on the screen. And if you'd like to vote to my GoFundMe or donate to my GoFundMe for my future studio, I'll leave the link down below as well. Bye.